Welcome to the OU Women's Basketball Review Update. From myself, Harry James Taylor. Sherry's version of Oklahoma played both versions of the orange. The hated orange. Oklahoma State and Texas. Splitting it. One and one. Losing to OSU. 57-73 in Stillwater on the pink night. On Oklahoma's pink night, though, they found a way to squeak one out against Texas. And then last night, the Sooners do just enough to hold up a pesky, pesky Kansas club. <laughs> it all started, though. This week started on a down note. Last Sunday in Stillwater. Oklahoma at Oklahoma State, Cowgirls avoid the sweep and dominate Oklahoma, 57-73 the final. The scorers for both sides. For Oklahoma, number one, Nicole Cornett tapped in 14 points. And for Oklahoma State, number four, Liz Donahoe kicked in 14 for Oklahoma State. In the first half, it didn't start out too badly for Oklahoma from inside, shooting 40% from inside the arc and 37.5% from outside the arc. Oklahoma State, though, in the first half, shot 35.1% inside and 22.2% from the three-point line. But in the second half, OSU's defense stifened, forcing Oklahoma, the Sooner Schooner, to shoot 26.7% from inside the arc and 30.8% from three-point range, while Oklahoma State shot right at 50% from inside the arc and 50% from outside the arc. At the end of the game, Oklahoma shot 33.3% from inside and 33.3% from outside, while Oklahoma State shot 40.7% from inside and 30.8% from outside. The shot of the game was made before Erin Ellenberg left with the uh, concussionary symptoms when she hit a three-point basket to put the, to get the Sooners back within 12, 62 to 50. Yet, however, Oklahoma only scored seven points after that, and OSU scored uh, another 11, with the final score being 70, 73, 57. Sooner Boomers. Then Oklahoma had their pink night, and they invited in the much anticipated, the much hated Texas Longhorns. Went down to the wire, but the Sooners find a way to win. 74 73. Sooners shoot down the horns by just one point. Leading the leading both teams was Texas. Number three, Nike Incampali. Incampali had 17 points for the Horns. For the Sooners, the leading lady was Oklahoma. Number 10, Morgan Hook, who had 15 points. As for the shooting percentages in the first half, UT, University of Texas Shorthorns, shot 30.8% from inside and 30.3% from the outside, while Oklahoma from the inside shot 33.3% th from inside and 33.3% from outside. But in the second half, Texas shot 48.3% from inside and 28.6% from three-point line, while Oklahoma in the second half shot 43.3% from the inside and 25% from the outside. As for the whole set of games, Texas, UT shot 40% from field goal range regular, and from behind the arc, 29.4% from three-point range. While Oklahoma shot 38.6% for the, for in, from the inside of the arc for the game, and 30.8% from outside the arc for the game. The shot of the game came when Morgan Hook uh, gets the Sooners off the hook with a layup, 63-63, with less than a minute to go, 
Morgan would later be fouled, hit one of two free throws, and the Sooners would walk away in their pink uniforms. Cancer's pretty hard to beat, as are the Longhorns, but at least we beat the Longhorns. <laughs> and then last night, Sooners win another barn burner, but the Sooners do do just enough to hold off the Jayhawks, 64-61 Sooner women. The Kansas ladies and the Sooner ladies had a game high 22 points from Kansas and Oklahoma. Kansas was number 54, Mashika Hawkins, who was 22. And Oklahoma, number 24, Shireen Make It Rain Campbell, scored 22 points for Oklahoma. As far as the game's concerned, Kansas shot did 45.8% from inside the arc and 57.1% from outside the arc, while Oklahoma shot 28.6% from inside and 0% from three-point range. In the second half, Kansas shot 40% from inside the arc and 28.6% from outside the arc, while Oklahoma shot 41.1% from inside the arc and still 0 for 0 from three-point range. As for the game, Kansas shot 43.2% from inside and 42.9% from three-point range. And Oklahoma shot 34.8% from inside and 0 for 0 from outside the arc. So how do you win a game like that? Well, I think it all the way has to come to the play of the game. And that was when Morgan Hook hit a jump shot late in the second half to put the Sooners up 65 or 62-58, the final score being 64-61 Sooners. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. It's been fun. Um, remember to find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or you can find me on Twitter at SoonerFanOK. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, Boomer Sooner, everybody. Take care.